Hey you guys, Janice here from Ozark Family Homestead. I was just going to head out to the garden real quick because we've been working hard today outside and I wanted you all to see a little bit of the progress that's going on. It's still early spring so there's not a ton to see but I still think it's lovely. So let's go see. And this right here is what I wanted to show you guys. Mama hold me. <laughs> Andrew's been working in the garden today. He is getting the cattle panel arbors put up for green beans. Because we are prepping to do that. Let me swing over here. Samuel's over there. The sun may be, I can't even tell what I'm recording right now, you guys. The sun is so bright. Samuel is putting soiled straw into the compost pile over there. He cleaned out the chicken coops for us today. So I'll take you over there to see him real quick. You've been working hard today, haven't you, Samuel? Yeah. Yeah, but you're just about done, right? Well, not quite. There's still quite a bit to be done on uh, that coop over there. We call it the new coop. Uh, it's that building. Uh, the separate building? Yeah, the separate building, not the barn. So you're still working on that one. Yeah. But this compost bin here was empty when you started today. Yes. So it's now being filled with soiled straw from the chicken coops and then we're going to add some daisy the cow soiled straw from down at the cow shed too so this will be lovely fertilizer for the garden at some point so okay let's go see what andrew then has been working on you've been making a lot of noise out here with that thing that's what made me come out of the house and go ahead and see what you were doing <laughs> I kept hearing the noise. So we did not have any of these cattle panels up yet today though, did we? No. Nope. And now you've got them put up because I know Sarah is itching to get some green beans in here. The cattle panel arbors, you know, they start uh, right there and it is going to extend the entire length of the garden here to where those pots are. And Sarah is estimating we should have room for 200 bean plants which I think should be sufficient. <laughs> she said we grew 140 last year and uh, 200 should work. So, okay, I know the garden looks rough, you guys, all the weeds and mess in there, but I promise you it is going to come together and be beautiful. As we plant something, each time we plant a crop, we go ahead and put cardboard, newspaper, or the woven weed fabric, the black that's there along the perimeter. We put those things down to help control weeds and it helps it look neat and tidy and is a lot easier to maintain. So I'm going to let Andrew get back to work. He's itching to get stuff done before supper tonight and I will get back to work inside the house. I've got laundry to bring in still. So I'm going to go bring in laundry first. We will see you guys later. Bye guys. Okay, Sarah. Tell us about these 200 green bean plants that we're growing this year. Well, I'm not doing 200 right now. I'm hoping to do 100 now. Only 100. And 100 later. Okay. <laughs> um. Hi, baby. Yep. Cheese. Cheese. What are you eating? Um, banana. Banana? Yes, you eating your nana. Okay, back to green beans. Okay, so these are the varieties that I like. Some do better than other, uh, others. <laughs> um, but I figured I'd show you some of our fa of our favorites. Because I see the bowls there. You're about to get them soaking, aren't you? Yes. Okay, let's go through them and then you can get them soaking. Okay, so traditional um, green ones. I collect seeds from over the years, so this is, hold on, this is, oh hold on, I got two from 2022. Anyway, 
These need to be consolidated in, into one. But here's the green ones. These do really, really, really well here. It's the Old Homestead, otherwise known as the Kentucky Wonder. And I've grown these for I don't know how many years straight. They do really, really well. And then the purple green beans have, these do so well here. Possibly a little bit better than the green ones. These are ones that I will plant every single year, like till the day I die. These do so well. I don't know what kind of variety they are because the seed packet has long since gone to seed packet heaven and is no longer with us. <laughs> so there's no telling what this was, but it's now known as purple green bean. And so it shall be. <laughs> the one of those fun ones that we, we've only done this one year. It was so fun. The Chinese red noodle long bean. These, I'm not kidding, they will get like this long and longer if, if you let them. So like five of them is like a meal for us, which is a lot. Um, so I'm definitely doing these again. Probably not as many as I'm going to do everything else because these are just kind of a for fun bean and I want to do more of our traditional beans. The long beans we sauteed. Yes. Like we put them in stir fries and we sauteed them like as a side dish. Yes. We did preserve some. We blanched them and we have them in the freezer yes. to use over winter. So we were able to preserve some of those. But yes. yeah, they are prolific. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are going to be dried beans. The ra these three were um, beans that you just snap. You could. Me, oh. What, baby? Me, what, you want to go outside? Me, okay, can you tell Anna? Say, Anna, boots, please. Boopy. <laughs> Did she hear you? There she comes. Anna to the rescue. All right, back to beans. Oh, me yeah. What? Your socks? Get your socks. Whoa! -oh. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you were saying. Okay, so these are snap beans that you'd put into a pot and boil on the stove. These are going to be your dried beans that you do like your bean dishes. You'd put them in like um ham and beans or whatever you do your beans with, whatever your preference is. Um, these are, these did okay here. Um, they could have been better. They're um, more of a red bean. Slippery silks? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just said the name. Um, so, I will grow these, but I don't know if I'll give so much space to them as they didn't do as well as I thought. Um, the Cherokee Trail of Tears bean. This is your traditional black bean. These did well here. They did well. Um, so I will definitely be devoting a lot of space to these because I liked how they did here. And they have good, shiny black beans. They're just so pretty. But now, if you want a really, really pretty bean, these did so good here. These are the Succotash beans, and they are huge. So if you look, oh, they get big. And they're supposed to be one of our oldest um, types of beans that are native here. Um, there, I've heard somewhere that it was rumored that these were like at like the first Thanksgiving, but of course you never know when you go that far back. Um, but I really enjoyed these and they did really well, so I'm definitely doing a lot of these this year. So, most of my space I'm going to actually devote to dry beans because it takes a lot of those to do good meals and to actually keep and preserve. Well, as the snap beans, as, as long as you're picking them every day in about two to three days, you'll have enough for a meal. And I mean, 
who really wants green beans every other day so but mama wants to preserve a lot of them though yes we want to do that but i feel like i need to do a lot more of the dried beans this okay. year though okay all right that's all of them mm. that that's it sarah other than the bush beans oh well then there's bush beans but that's a different video very different video okay all right so we will oh we do need to show the uh, arbor andrew has the the uh, arbors for the beans the bean tunnel i guess we'll call it he has that done outside so we will need to show that also and uh i think that's it okay off to the bean tunnel so i've already planted one kind of the beans the old homestead but um wanted to show you the beans when they're soaking they color the water it's really really cool so i'm going to plant all these today and wait and see how many come up i can always do a replanting if stuff doesn't come up and that's perfectly fine but I ought to have somewhere in the upper 90s of the, the, no, the number of beans. So I don't quite remember the exact number, but it's close to 100. I think Sarah's working on the end of the first half of the bean tunnel here. You can see, I don't think we've shown yet how Andrew got all of the arbors put up. But if you can see, they start right up. Well, right up there, and they go all the way to the end, past Sarah, and this is where the 200 bean plants will go. Sarah's weeding as she goes down there, but we'll end up getting the newspaper and straw and cardboard and everything laid down too to keep up with the weeds. Now. Sarah, you do intend to put brassicas in the middle, right? Yeah. Under the arbor here, just right down the center yeah. there. And you're going to put a cover over those to try to keep the moths mm -hmm. this year because we always struggle with that, don't we? Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Yep. So, well, that's it. And the other half will just get put in. A little bit later what maybe two weeks from now or so Sarah Probably. yeah we'll do the other half in about two weeks and then harvest harvest and preserve over and over and over again <laughs> all right guys if you liked this video please give us the thumbs up on there and share it with your friends be sure to subscribe to our channel it helps us out so much we appreciate you guys and we will see you on the next video bye bye Say bye, Sarah.